this video, I'm going to be explaining the dying three, two or the dollar defense and going to be kind of breaking down how I use this and how a lot of people use this to really play good defense, probably as good a defense as you can play in this game. Now, if you want to get my entire full fledged dollar defensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. But in this video, we're just kind of doing kind of an overview of it and uh, just kind of giving you a little look at the defense. Now, this defense is really good specifically for uh, switch sticking is really what makes this defense, I think, super effective. And it also, just from an alignment perspective, you don't have to really worry about them audibly and around. You don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to worry about like trips, bunch. You, you basically are going to line up the same every single time. And those are some of the reasons why I believe this defense is really probably the best defense in the game right now. And as I said, I'm just going to be giving you kind of a, a small overview of it. If you want to get the full scheme, it's in our school community. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Also, by the way, so if you guys want to sign up, that link is down below. Auto flip defense play call and our coach adjustments here. We're going to turn this off. It's really important. Auto alignment. This is going to be on base. Option defense. This is going to be on conservative. And then you can, you can do whatever zone drops you want to do. I don't normally set zone drops for the way I play defense. Okay. So what we're going to do in our audible menu, which the cool part is if you set these audibles in practice mode, it will carry over into game. And I believe in regs, if you go into play now, it'll carry it over to game. So we're going to set these. These audibles are the key. So in this cover four drop slot, we're going to set the audible edge blitz three. In the Tampa two spot, we're going to set the audible strong safety zone blitz. In this hot blitz three, you could leave this one, but I like to set DB fire two in this spot here. If I could find the DB fire two. And then at this top slot, because we're pretty much basing out of a predominant cover three defense, I like to have cover four quarters if I ever want to jump into some match stuff. Or one little pro tip that I want to give you is if you want to turn this into a cover four drop, all you have to do is shade underneath, and that will cancel the match principle. Okay? So these are the audibles that you want, and you're going to be coming out in double safety go, but the big tip here is you're going to flip the double safety go. You're going to flip double safety go, and then you're going to audible into whatever play you want to call based off of the situation, okay? Now, if you the, we're going to start actually by showing this on the right hash because this is really the foundation of the defense, and then we'll talk about working back over to the left hash. So, in this year's game, blitzes work different based off hash mark, especially dollar. So what you're going to see is I'm going to audible to the strong safety zone blitz. And pretty much the only players that might move are the outside corners, but everybody else is going to stay the same. And then all we're going to do for this is we're going to zone. We're going to put this safety on the left side that is blitzing. We're going to put him in whatever coverage we want. The easiest thing to do is put him in a hook curl, shade underneath, and then you can also deep half both of your corners, that is an option as well. And what that does is it helps prevent bombs. It's a little bit better for defending seam streaks, but it's not as good at defending corner routes. So you're going to need to switch stick to the hard flats to guard a corner route. So anyway, this is kind of my base defense on the right hash. And what will happen is you'll see I'm not going to do anything. I'm not even going to move. And this guy, th this uh, linebacker will come in free. Now, the cool part with this is you can use her anybody on the field. So you don't have to use her this right of screen guy. So let's say you want to use her over here. It's not going to really change anything. This guy is going to blitz through the A gap for the most part. Every now and then he'll randomly get picked up in practice mode. But this, this is, this is kind of the, the strong safety zone blitz uh, defense. And we'll show it to you one more time just to show you. He's kind of getting up, picked up a little bit because we're probably using him over there. But it, it, it truly doesn't matter. But I like to and prefer to use her this linebacker. And I do think it does make the blitz slightly more consistent. Like if I just use her this corner over here just for fun, you see, I mean, it's still trying to come in. So I'm just trying to show that you don't have to hover. You don't have to really do anything, if you will, uh, to make this blitz super effective. One thing that we uh, that a lot of people like to do last year was try to use her this defensive end. You can still do that. If you want to try to use her that defensive end out into coverage, you can do that as well. But I think in general, you know, the best way to run this defense would probably be to just leave this blitz angles as is and to use her this safety or this um, this sub linebacker right here on the right side and just kind of run down to the right for a second and then get into coverage. Okay. 
So the, the best thing about this is that this defense complements one another. The plays, the plays within the defense actually complement one another. So one of the best ways to pick up the dollar a get blitz is to double team this defensive end on the right side of the screen. Well, when they do that, we can audible over to this edge blitz three, and then we can actually take this slot corner and put him in a yellow zone, shade underneath, and now it's basically exactly the same defense. It's just a different style of blitzing. And what you're going to see is when they do that double team, now we've got a chance for that defensive end or that linebacker to loop and come in on the, on the um, right hash that way. Now, the big kryptonite of this defense, you're probably thinking, like, well, what do you do if they're in the middle field or if they're on the left hash? Because I'm going to show you that this strong safety zone blitz is not as good if they are on the left hash. As you see, they get blocked. Now, what can happen occasionally, and this is more of a lineup suggestion for you, is if you put a, a double or nothing or an X-factor D tackle, they can actually sometimes get instant sheds, and you can be able to get pressure that way as well. So if they do block the, the blitzer occasionally, that nose tackle is really good. Another thing in dollar that it does not get talked about a lot and it's not really a practice mode thing that I could show, but this left side defensive end, or really both of them, but especially this left side guy, sometimes he'll just get an instant shed as well. So we're, we're not just trying to blitz. We're just trying to get enough pressure that forces them to throw into our switch sticks, okay? So this is not like double mug where you're trying to get, you know, instant A-gap pressure every time. However, if we are on this hash mark and I still want to get pressure, I'm just going to utilize this edge blitz, okay? So you see here, I'll actually click off here, and you'll see that this edge blitz, it's not 100% consistent, but sometimes this guy can just walk in, as you see right there, okay? So the beauty of edge blitz, though, also is how do they block edge blitz? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but the best way that I know how is to block a running back on this left side, Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to now audible into DB Fire 2 where we have this, these uh, slot corner blitz angles. And what you'll see sometimes is this outside guy can actually loop around, and this is probably your best strategy for getting pressure on a blocked running back. And what sometimes will happen is, is they'll do kind of two pass protections and one once you kind of do this a little bit more frequently, and you can actually get this, uh, get this DB Fire to come in. Now, another thing I wanted to also say real quick that you do have the ability to do. Notice that at the play call screen, we were flipping our free safety zone blitz. Well, if they're consistently blocking our edge blitz because they're putting a running back over there on that side, then all we have to really do here is we're just going to not flip the double safety go. So every now and then we can come out. This is something that you would do kind of later in the game. But now we're going to come out in it like this. And we don't want to move. That's why I don't like to move anybody pre-snap anymore. I like to just stand here because I don't think hovering makes a big difference this year. So you'll see here, now what we're able to get is we have a chance to get this guy to loop off the right side because he's not on the same side as running back. So this is a way in which you can kind of, I guess, craft another way to run this same basic concept from here to kind of craft different ways in which we can achieve pressure, Okay. In my opinion, your still best bet is to is to run everything off the left side uh, just because that makes everything consistent for you. But there is a time and a place for something like this where you could potentially get this guy to loop in off the off the right side. Another little tip for you with running this is if you move this guy in a little bit and and you're not using the free safety blitz, you'll see here that he can sometimes get a little bit better of a loop. But again, we're not really worried about every time somebody coming in free just as long as they come in free enough and then as they start to do things like and they will they'll do things like double team this guy to try to prevent certain blitzes that then just opens up your basic db fire blitz so the basic db fire blitz is something that we use kind of once they've blocked everything else and typically what i'll do with this uh, db fire blitz as well is We'll typically shade underneath, and then we're going to re-soft squat these outside guys. And what this is going to do is it gets the vertical hooks to shade underneath a little bit better. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could do something like this right here, where we're only going to send one side of the DB fire, try to force a rollout. 
and get a loop around the edge. But these are different ways in which we can basically always force our opponent to block a running back or to have some type of pass protection set up. So once they start to set up a ton of pass protection, then we can just situationally mix in our cover four quarters where we just shade down. Something as simple as this is really effective this year, and you're able to just kind of basically user this blitz linebacker, and you're going to get pretty decent sheds. Another thing you can do situationally um, is, is let's say, you know, let, let's say that they're, this is something I would do very situationally, but let's say, you know, the, the cool part about this, guys, is everything looks exactly identical, right? Because of our baseline, because of how we're using the, the, the defense, every single play looks identical. So now we can go to a DB fire two. We're going to shade underneath, and then we're going to recloud flat these outside guys, and we're going to have these curl flats. What this is is just a basic double Mabel look, but this is really good if mixed in with the pressure, right? Because it's hard to beat this defense if they're not able to send five out. So that's how the pressure can support the coverage in this. And then we haven't even gotten into what I would consider to be the most important part of this, which is the switch stick. So if we're running a defense like this, if you look at this defense, what's really practically open? A deep crosser or a deep corner are the only two things that are really going to kill you on this, on, on this play. So what we're looking for here is a corner route. We say, oh, there's a corner route. Okay, we'll just switch stick on to him, and we'll just go take that with our hard flat and force them to take the underneath flats. So this is why this defense is so good. Again, one of the best tips that I can give you for running this defense is to utilize deep halves on your specifically on this on the short side guy I think that's the, the the guy that helps the most but doing something like this and then you can switch stick onto the corner and then you can basically kind of bait like that all right so this is kind of the basic idea of which this dollar defense is is being ran you can mix in all kinds of stuff cross manning different different things like that different tricks but this is one of my favorite ways to uh, play defense because I feel like you have a lot more control over where your pressure actually comes in on so you see something like this we can set it up to where we're trying to get that pressure off that left side we can kind of loop that left side we have man ups there we force a rollout into a hard flat and then we can send that player so these are just different things that I would you know I would try out if you want to kind of mess around with with dollar there's a lot of things you can do with it this year and the sky is truly the limit, especially with with uh, switch sticking and stuff like that. But this is this is super good, and you can utilize these contains to kind of force the rollouts. And if you have a good defensive tackle, it really opens up the entirety of the scheme. I would I cannot stress enough how good this edge blitz blitz is, um, especially if you move that guy in a tick or two. It's really effective. You don't have to always move him in because obviously when you're sending the right hash, you don't really want to move him at all. But in general, just kind of something to know is if you move this guy in just a step, you can kind of move both of them so they don't really know what you're doing. You'll see here just a, a higher degree of consistency for this guy to loop. And I personally think that this loop works a little bit better on the left side, but this is pretty much what you're seeing right now. And this is why this is really helpful to Dollar um, because now you can pretty much always have a good send four and you still have the DB fire send five. And also you have the best coverage in the game and the coverage and defense as a whole that is most optimized for switch sticking as well as adjusting to whatever the offense is doing. That being said, guys, if you guys want to check out my entire entire dollar three two updated defensive ebook, that is available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. The link is in the description to sign up for that. Ten bucks will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both college football twenty-five and for Madden twenty-five.